Hello everyone and welcome back to another TCG Card Simulator video. In this video I'm going to be talking about mods and how you can get them, how you can set them up. And I'm going to jump right in here just so that we can get to it and then I'll show you guys the mods that I have installed after that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this BEP in EX pack for TCG Card Shop Simulator. So you just click in here and then you want to go to files and just download this uh, manual download. You'll need to be logged in. This is on Nexus Mods, by the way. You're gonna need to be logged in so that you can download stuff. So after you download this, you're gonna wanna download it uh, into whatever folder you want, really. But after you download it, you're gonna wanna go into Steam, just open your library, and then find TCG Car Shop Simulator. Right-click it, go to Manage, and then go to browse local files. From here, you're gonna want to grab the file that you downloaded, which is the Bepin EX one, extract it into here. I've already done that myself, but I can show you real quick. So like this is the, the folder that I have my mods in and also where I just re-downloaded Bepin EX. So you just grab this, um, right click, drag it, if you know, however you wanna bring it in. Um, you can extract it Right and then it'll extract you can change the name if you want. I'll just extract it the way it is just so that you can see So so you can see it is Right here, okay, so if you click into this you'll see a whole bunch of files here Now you're gonna want all of these files to be in the the folder that you extracted into so what I, I guess what I would do is just um, is just copy all of these and then just go back to the previous folder and then just paste everything in here. Once you do that, then you will have all of these files as you can see I already have them here like uh, this winhtp.bll and this bepinex folder. So that should all be in this folder which is the same folder that cardshopsimulator.exe is in. So now I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it anymore. And now this is the, the Bepin EX folder that you will have. When you click into here, you'll see a plugins folder. That's where you want to put all of your mods. So you can see I have auto light switch, I have auto set prices, and I have movable trash bin. So I'll show you guys those after. So now after you have that done, you're going to want to go back into, into Nexus mods and then you want to just look for the, the mods that you want. So just search for TCG card simulator mods and you'll see them all here. So for example, auto set prices, auto light switch, these are the mods that I have, right? There are other mods too that I haven't installed uh, because they, they they can you know help you cheat. Like, uh, you know, you can get rid of the, the customer stink. You can, you can make it so that, um, like you can show customers cash. Uh, you can like change the prices of stuff. I don't know, it's, there's a lot of stuff, but you can make it so that you can hold infinite amounts of stuff in your hand. I'm not using any of those mods because I don't want to be cheating per se, but yeah, so let's let's look at the auto set prices one for example. Um, if you click into here, it's the same thing. You go into files, right, and then you manually download it. And then wherever you download it, just extract it into the plugins folder. So you'll see auto set prices here. Now I changed the names to get rid of all the 0001 and all that stuff. But if you click into here, you'll see that it has a Bepin EX folder. So that's what you want. So inside Bepin EX, the main folder, you wanna, so let's go back here. Inside Bepin EX, in the TCG Car Trap Simulator Steam folder, inside Bepin EX, you have plugins, and then you have the plugins, and then you have uh, auto set prices, and then you have a Bepin EX folder. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you set them up. Now, as mods get released and stuff, you're going to want to make sure that you read like the posts section just to make sure that there's no issues. Um, sometimes, you know, they're not compatible or they're outdated or whatever. Now there are mods that, I haven't tried any of these, but there are mods that are skin replacers so you can like change the, you can change the card looks. So for example, if I go to the next page, you can see like there's, you know, um, where is it? There's a Magic the Gathering textures, there's a Digimon one, I think there's a Yu-Gi-Oh one. So yeah, you can, you know, you can try those out if you want, but I'm not sure. I haven't downloaded any of those. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go into the game now and I'll show you guys uh, the mods that I have installed. Alright, so we're in the game now and also I wanted to mention that in the last video, um, I really appreciate all the comments that everyone made about the tips and tricks. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out. Um, one thing that people uh, mentioned to me that was really useful is that you can actually have more than one save. I didn't realize this at first, um, but the first slot is an auto save slot and then the other slots are actually other save slots. So yeah, um, like when, when, when you go to start a new game here, it says a save file already exists, you want to delete it. So that kind of freaked me out because I didn't realize that it was talking about the auto save slot, but if you have your game saved in another slot, you can you can start a new one. So it's all good. So I'm gonna go into here, into my save. And uh, fun fact for anybody who um, wants to know, the name Wizard's Castle is actually, um, when I was much younger, I used to work in an arcade and the name of the arcade was Wizard's Castle. So I just, for some reason, decided to name it that. But um, anyway, so when you're in the game, after you've installed the mods, if you press F1, you'll see this pop up. This is, these are all the mods here. So it, it might not show uh, like how it's showing up here, but you know, it, like you might see a bunch of other stuff, but like this, for example. But yeah, you can, um, you can see the mods here. So auto light switch, for example, you can set the time that you want to turn the lights on. So I'm going to set this to 430. Okay, so that should be set. And then the auto set prices one is a really good one. Um, yeah, so actually I didn't I didn't really mention that, but it's self it's self explanatory. Auto light switch automatically turns on the lights at a at a time that you specify. Now there is another game very similar to this that came out a long time ago called Supermarket Simulator, and there there are a bunch of these Bepin EX mods that are similar, and that's one of them uh, that lets you turn the lights on. So that's kind of the same here. So yeah, you don't have to go turn on the lights anymore um, by yourself. So the other one is auto set prices. This one is really useful. So you can you can turn on rounding. So the the cards will automatically get rounded after you know you place an item down, a new item. Um, you can you can set the markups for the prices. So for example, you can set the cards to automatically mark up by twenty percent. You can set items to mark up by ten percent, um, and then you can set the rounding. Uh, for each so you can set the rounding for cards so for me I have it rounded up to the nearest 50 cent mark because I, I, I find sometimes like I, I, I want to keep everything rounded to the nearest dollar but it doesn't really work as well for cards sometimes if a card is like two dollars uh, if it's worth two dollars and then you know you, you bump it up to 250 it goes up to three dollars and people won't buy it so 250 you know seems to be better for that case so yeah I keep it at that 50 cents item round to nearest is for the actual items not the cards so for this one, I keep it to the whole, nearest whole dollar, so that's that. So I'll show you how you know this kind of works, and you can just close that. Oh yeah, and the other the other mod that I have is um, is that you can move the trash can, which is something that I mentioned in one of my previous videos. So now, if you walk up to the trash trash can, you can actually move it. So I can actually move this inside the store if I want to, which is super useful because then you don't have to keep running outside to throw away boxes. Now I do understand that I think that when you save and load, this trash can ends up back outside again. But you can you can just pick it up and bring it inside. I'm not sure if they if that if the mod actually fixed that or not, but I don't think he did because I think he said that that would mess up with people's save files and he didn't want to mess around with people's save files. So yeah, but it, it's not a big deal to just you know bring it back inside um, every time you load the game. So let me let me show you uh, this with the cards. So if I go here, for example, this one 6342, I will take it and put it right here. And you can see that it automatically set it to $76. So the way it's figuring that out is market price, 20 round. And actually it, it, it went up to 77, but I think it's because I have it set to round it to the nearest 50 cent mark. I'm gonna have to tinker with these settings a little bit, but you, you can see that it does work. So that's that one. So, and then, so I showed you the trash can one, I showed you the, um, this one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to uh, talk about in this video. In the next video, I'll probably, you know, take you guys through some of the updates that I've done. I can show you really quick and, and you know, I'll, I'll give some more tips and stuff as I as I find them. But um, I did I did do this whole thing with putting the two sprayers at the front here so that when people come in, they get blasted twice. And that ensures that, you know, people don't uh, come in stinky. But it, it can misfire sometimes if you get two people who are stinky who both walk through at the same time, then sometimes it can miss. But it works better than you know the other way that I had it before. Um, 
I also have a bunch of stock shelves now. I know people don't usually do this, but I like I like you know the immersiveness of, of actually having proper stock and all that stuff. So that's why I have this set up like this. It's not it's not gonna be like a, a good way to make money, but you know it works. One other thing that I wanted to mention is that there is this thing now. So you can actually uh, flip this, and people. It, it, this is how it starts. People will walk in from here. If you don't want them to walk in from here, you can flip this sign and it says use main entrance only. So then they will only use the main entrance. So yeah, just a couple of things that I wanted to mention. And um, yeah, this is my new layout. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to tinker with this some more, but um, it's not bad. I, I don't I don't uh, I don't hate it. But yeah, I've got my cache over here. Once I once I expand to here, then I'm going to move a bunch of stuff around. But for now, this seems to work pretty good. And yeah, that's about it. So hopefully this video helped with your modding needs. Please drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And if you want to see more TCG Card Shop Simulator videos, let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and good luck with cracking those packs. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.